Thanks for joining me in Saskatoon. Let me introduce you to two of my best friends. We've got here Prime Minister Wilfrid Laurier, and we've got here Prime Minister Diefenbaker. This is the site of one of the most folkloric stories in Saskatchewan history. In 1910, so the story goes, the great Prime Minister Wilfrid Laurier came to Saskatoon to give a speech. And when he was out in the morning, he bumped into a newspaper boy who sold him a copy of the Phoenix. They had a wonderful conversation, uh, according to the, uh, the story that Diefenbaker would later tell. And uh, after their conversation was done, the young Diefenbaker said, I'm sorry, Prime Minister, but I have no more time to talk. I have more newspapers to sell. Now, we don't know if this story is true. Some historians can contest it. I can tell you I wasn't there, so I can't confirm it one way or the other. But here's what I can say. A lot of people would say these two men would have nothing in common. We have a liberal and a conservative, a Quebecer and a Westerner. But wait, both of them shared a passionate love for freedom. That's why Laurier was so popular in Western Canada. He opened the, the doors to immigration so that waves and waves of people could come here and settle the land and uh, carve a little piece of paradise for themselves out of that big, cold patch of land we call the prairies. And my, my ancestors actually came to this country around that time. He also opened Canada up to more free trade, free enterprise. He believed in freedom of expression, and he believed in the dignity of the individual to make his or her own decisions for themselves. Here we have our friend uh, Diefenbaker, who brought the Bill of Rights for Canada to protect our rights to, to speak freely, to believe what we want, to uh, be free from discrimination and undue mistreatment by government. So they both shared that great Canadian tradition of liberty. In fact, when Laurier, who was a great supporter of immigration, was asked, what is Canada's nationality? He didn't know how to answer it based on ethnicity because there were so many ethnicities. We had, uh, of course, French and English. We had the First Peoples. We had Germans, Irish, Scottish, Scottish, and so many more. So he answered very cleverly and accurately. He said, Canada is free and freedom is its nationality. Similarly, Diefenbaker, when he gave us the Bill of Rights, said, I am a Canadian, a free Canadian, free to speak without fear, free to stand for what I think right, free to oppose what I believe wrong, free to worship God in my own way, free to choose those who shall govern my country. It is this heritage of freedom that I pledge to uphold for myself and all of humankind. Those are the words that we should all celebrate as we give Canadians back control of their lives and make Canada the freest place on planet Earth.